now it's time for the version 6.2.2 update notice that we received today for the new patch from come to us summoners war and yeah we have two two monsters with of course different elements but we'll try to review and i would try to react on this on how good these monsters are uh, pertaining to its use in in some areas of the game so we try to start first with the omyuji omyuji is that right okay his first skill the fire i, I think all the omyuji they are all support uh, let's try to start first with the fire OMUG. First skill, Burning Soul. Attacks the enemy and removes one beneficial effect with a 50% chance. So, uh, she is a stripper. And I think all of them are have the same first skill. So, the second skill, Karma. Attacks the enemy target and suppresses the target. So, suppresses, I think it's a new mechanic, a new debuff. Excluding the boss for two turns, the suppressed target will have the HP reduced by 50% if the target uses a skill with cooldown time. So, with this suppress debuff or buff to the enemy, I think this is good for tanks tank bruisers which are which are built with a lot of hp then her third skill yin yang bounce circle attacks all enemies to increase the duration of harmful effects granted on them by one turn each hmm. okay absorbs the attack bar by 10 percent for each turn of the harmful effects on the target. Okay, so maybe you you will first use the second skill to use the buff or buff the enemy. I don't actually know if the suppress is a debuff or buff but maybe it will yeah it is it is with conjunction with this third with her third skill which uh increases the duration of the harmful effects so yeah and also you'll not use maybe your third skill uh instantly because you don't have debuffs on your enemies yet so maybe it this will be a third to fourth monster to act in RTA. Yeah, I think that's the that's the support uh skill for this uh, monster, the fire one. Now the water one. His first skill is the same. And the second skill, past life spell, summons the soul of the dead ally and uses the target skill once. At this time, the target's passive skill won't be applied. When used on a living ally, grant soul protection on the target for two turns. Okay, so you can still. You can use the uh, skill of skill of a dead. Okay, ah, uh, when when your ally is dead, so you can use the skill of it. That's good. Yeah, because there are a lot of monsters that that are actually being killed first. So, 
this is a good skill. When Samat dies, you can use his third skill. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what is soul protection, so maybe it's another thing. It's another mechanic. It's not, it doesn't it say immunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, the third skill, all things in nature, applies all harmful effects granted on this battle to each enemy for one turn each and applies all beneficial effects to each ally for one turn. Mm -hmm. that, that's good. Applies all harmful effects granted on this battle to each enemy for one turn and applies all beneficial effects. So you will just swap. Is that right? Applies all harmful effects granted on this battle. All harmful effects, right? Granted on this battle to each enemy. Oh, so even if your enemy has uh, harmful effects and your team also have harmful effects, all of them combined, then it will be applied to all enemies then all the beneficial effects on the battle whether it's your enemy or your team all beneficial effects will be applied on your team that is that is sick yeah how about All harmful effects granted on this battle to each enemy for one turn each. Applies all beneficial effects to each ally. How about immunity? That is beneficial effects. So you get their immunity. Yeah, I think that's that's how it will work. Because that is his her third skill. I think that is abusive to use in RTA because of getting the beneficial effects and transferring your harmful effects to the enemy. Okay, let's try to read more of the more of this uh, Omyuji. Now we are on win. First skill, burning skull attacks. Uh, this is the same with the other two. Now the second skill, Karma, attacks the enemy target and suppress the target. Oh, it's the same with the fire. Suppress target with HP. Okay. It's the same with fire. So the So the water has the different among them. The third skill, Kome Kome Pants. Passive. I don't know how to uh to say it so please bear with me recovers the attack bar by 25 percent if an enemy uses a skill with cooldown time mm, okay the cooldown time of karma resets also they differ with the third skill the passive skill the cool down time of karma resets if the suppress effect Granted on the enemy gets activated. Mm, so it is it is in conjunction with her second skill. So you need to first cast your second Yeah, because this is her third skill is passive, so it's obvious. Okay, so we Attack bar is actually the best thing in RTA. Uh, recovers attack bar is always always a good thing. But he only he only she only recovers 
the attack bar for herself. Not, uh, I don't think, I don't think that's a good, a good thing to have, a good skill to have in a monster because you only have two skills, the birding soul and only, and karma. So your third skill is almost, eh. I don't think the wind om Yuji is a good monster. I don't think so. But the water one, I think, will be very abusive. Because of the third skill, the all things in nature. That's a sick, sick skill to have. So let's go to the 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 expensive monsters the light the light of yuji so the first skill is the same attacks the enemy and removes beneficial effect with so all their first skills are stripped so the second skill past life spell summons the soul of the dead ally and use darker skill one so it's the same with the water at this time the target's passive skill won't be applied Okay, when used on a living ally. So, it's the same with the water. So, that means their first two skills are almost... The water is, is like the the light, light monster. So, her third skill, Yin Yang 5 Elements, limits the number of turns for harmful effects on allies and beneficial effects on enemies to one turn. Bombs or skill used by bosses are excluded. Okay, this is a good thing. This is a good skill. Because there are skills that yeah, the debuffs. And it's also a passive because when it is a an active active skill then it will it can be stripped or it can be stripped or steal but since her third uh his third skill her third skill is a passive skill then anytime anytime someone someone debuffs you then it's always activated I'm not surprised with the <laughs> with the light of Yuji because these monsters are really really hard to get. So that that skill that's pa that passive skills is a good support monster skill in arena. So let's let's see the dark maybe the dark one will have another insane insane ability uh, first skill the same with the other four karma attacks the enemy target suppress okay that's the same with the fire wind and then the last one is the the dark and the third skill curse of death grant, grants the curse of death on the enemy target excluding the boss that cannot be removed to reduce the target's HP by 25%. Each for 4 turns. Cannot be this effect cannot be applied to 2 or more at the same time. And the effect disappears when the caster dies. Grants the curse of death on the enemy target. Excluding the boss. That cannot be removed. Reduce target's HP by 25%. Okay, that's very hard to understand. <laughs> Grants the curse of death on the enemy target, excluding the boss. That cannot be removed to reduce the target's HP by 25%. Each. Mm. That's quite tricky. 
So, cannot be re removed. Okay, you're, so you, you can't, your HP can't be reduced by 25%. Alright, because some monsters, yeah, because on the, yeah, with karma, I think that's it. Ah, it's, it's a counter to all karmas. Hmm, okay. So, I think there are monsters that drains HP. So, you can't be re reduced by 25%. So, I think the biggest winners for the OMUG uh, element is the water and the light and i think the water is almost the same with with power level with their skill levels i think though the light om yuji is above the water by only a A narrow gap because the light has a passive that limits the turns of harmful effects that's good but the water applies harmful effects you just interchange but you don't you don't get any any harmful effects right applies all things in nature applies all harmful effects granted on this battle to each enemy for one turn each and applies all beneficial effects to each ally each so you just interchange but you are you benefit from from the change because all the beneficial effects including invincibility right and immunity Yeah, let's go on the. But I'm I'm excited to get the water, the water om Yuji. I am excited with the water om Yuji, and the rest are normal, I think. So we go with the on Onimusha. So the fire one, ghost slash attacks the enemy two times, recovering HP by thirty percent of. The inflicted damage and decreasing the target's defense for two turns with 20% chance each. Okay, that's good. When he attacks, it's almost a lifesteal when you attack, recover HP of the 30% damage. So, with this Onim, Onimusha, I think you're, you are built in with vampire runes. Because you're recovering HP by a percentage. And you're de decreasing the defense for two turns, right? That's a good uh, sign for an attack monster. So with his second skill, Blade Slaughter, attacks all enemies and grants endure effect on yourself for one turn if an enemy is defeated. Mm-hmm. Is this Endure the same with the Endure runes? Resistance? Is that right? Maybe. But he didn't... But they didn't... Uh, they didn't include it here. So, I'm assuming that the Endure effect is like the Resistance. In, oh, so, the third skill, Force, force Stall, Passive, Increases your defense by 50% of your attack power. Okay, in conjunction with your attack power, you also have defense. Which is your passive. Increases the defense by 50% of your attack power when the battle begins and inflicts additional damage proportional to your defense when your attack on your turn. Critical hits won't occur. When attacking enemy, automatic effect. So, I think this is a good, good monster because 
In addition to your attack, you can build with defense. So your runes are basically attack percentage and defense percentage. But the good thing <laughs> that come to us is is intelligent for that for using when you attack on your turn because you can't use revenge rune. You can if if they don't add this effect then he will be very good with the, the revenge rune because even if if it's not his turn then he can inflict damage so that's a good thing though we will not abuse the revenge rune critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy so you you won't Okay, that's the downside with the additional uh, attack base. It, that, 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 that's the downside with your damage because you will not land critical hits. <laughs> and it's an automatic effect, so every time you attack, you will not do critical damage. I critical hits. Okay. So it's a flat, flat damage. Okay, let's go to the water. Go slash the first skill. Attacks the enemy two times, recovering 30%. It's the same. I think it's the same with all the Onimusha. And this, this second skill, Ghost Wild Dance. Attacks all enemies two times and recovers HP by 30% of the inflicted damage. So, it's the same. It's the same with the first skill. But, the difference is he, ju he just attacks two times. So, I think, I think it's, 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 there's nothing, uh, there's nothing insane with that. His third skill, undergo hardship, passive. And I, and all their third skill are passive, right? His third skill undergo hardship increases the attack power by 10% each up to 250% whenever monster except yourself get a turn. Critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy. Increases. The attack power of the enemies each up to two hundred fifty percent whenever monster except yourself get a turn. Mm hmm. That's quite. It's a quite tricky passive because it's attack power by ten percent each. Oh, so, so is he helping your team? Critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy. Whenever monster except yourself, get a turn. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure with this skill. Whenever monster except yourself, get a turn. So when you are being counter attack, you get up, you get a additional damage, additional percent in your attack power. When you attack, mm -hmm. uh, let's go back for that. In the meantime, let's go to the win. First skill, it's all the same. Go slash, the same with the three. The second skill, Blade Slaughter, attacks all enemies, grants injure effect on yourself. Same with the fire one. Calculated the third skill, cal pass it's also a passive skill. Calculated sacrifice decreases your current HP by 20% at the start of each turn and it inflicts additional damage by 20% of the lost HP when you attack on your turn. 
Oh, so this is good, right? At the start of each turn, inflict additional damage by 20% of the lost HP. So this is... So that's why... That is why... The... The OMUG Dark Support... Uh, has a... Has a skill Curse of the Dead. Because... This uh, skill cannot uh, cannot be removed to reduce. That cannot be on. Yeah, this is a buff that uh, preventing you to reduce your HP. So he is he is a counter for this wind onimusha, which is passive. Uh, Let's you decrease your HP by 20%. In addition to damage. So, I now, I now understand why the, why this dark support, Omu, Omuji, have that third skill. Because this will be a very good monster in RTA. The only downside is that you don't, we, you, you will not land critical hits. Yeah, I think the wind, wind onimusha is a great monster to have. Then let's go with the light, the light onimusha. Oh, this is only, uh, this is only a four star monster. I thought it was a five star, so that's my bad. So the first skill is the same. The second skill, Blade Slaughter, attacks all enemies, class endure. It's the same with the other. The only, the only difference is the water one, which has a different second skill. So the third skill, which is a passive, banging head against a brick wall. Counter attacks the target if the damage you receive from the enemy is less than 25% of your max HP. Mm, okay, it's the same. It's, it's it's also in conjunction with the dark OMUG. Counter attacks the target if the damage you receive from the enemy is less than twenty five percent of your eight max HP. Is less than twenty five. So you will build him HP so that he counter attacks. Door defense. Maybe that's it. We need to use his, his passive, his counter attack. So I think you might build him with defense. Because when you have a lot of defense, and that's what I think with this monster, because when you build a lot of defense, and also HP, substats I mean, you might, you might uh, use his counter, his passive quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, HP maybe. HP because you, if you have a lot of HP, then you will counter attack. Anytime. That's sick. Let's go to the dark one. The dark Onimusha. So, Ghost Lash. Same. Oh, but this is different. Yeah. Ah, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The the water is not his second. His second skill is not that. It's not that great. While on the dark, ghost wild dance, attacks to all enemies. As ah, so okay, the first skill, the ghost slash, only attacks one enemy. While the ghost wild dance attacks all enemies. That's the difference. That's I. Uh, 
that's good that is good yeah that is good so the passive indomitable passive critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy but the damage is increased by 50% you won't die under inability effects and removes all inability effects granted on yourself when the turn starts and the damage is increased by 50% additionally on the turn that's insane that's almost OP but the critical hits won't occur so you need to build him attack and yeah uh, yeah of course of course he is of course he is the the is the he is a nat 5 guys he is a nat 5 this dark is in, has a, is insane skill of course he is a nat 5 his skill is for nat 5 is passive Comparing to these other four monsters, his skill, his passive indomitable is insane. Yeah, I think a recap. I think the dark Onimusha is the best monster to have. Yeah, the dark. But the light, you can abuse his counter attacks. If you build him correctly. And for the Omuji, I think the light the light uh the light Omuji is the the best one for me. And second to him is the water. So I think that's that's it. And let's see for some of the updates. Okay, with this new, it's like on the Street Fighter where the rates are, the rates are up when you are using the SP Salmon. So that's not a good. That's not a new to us. That's not new to us. It's the same with the Street Fighters, and with this. Okay, this I think this is the new balance patch coming the basic skill sound renewal they will be reviewing the target monsters listed here so the fairy the fairy king i think the oh no that not the fairy king no 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 not that one the fairy queen friend hard ninja mermaid vampire brownie magician sky dancer Harp magician polar lighting emperor dragon knight Oh no, Druid, Valkyrie, almost all the five stars are here. Oh, including the Fairy King. Panda Warrior, Unicorn, Paladin, Sea Emperor, Hell Lady, Monkey King. Okay, the 2A Werewolf and Inugami and the Fairies. It might be nerfed. Tatu might be nerfed. But it's only for the... It's only for the... For the uh, dungeons and Inugami, yeah, we, they will. Oh no, all the Ikarus, the three Ikarus. Stop! <laughs> Stop building your Ikarus, guys. Stop building your Ikarus because the two A Inugamis might be nerfed. We will be reviewing the monster skill sounds continuously, so please stay tuned. So, not 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 today, not in the coming weeks, I think, in the coming months. The sound of sound monsters being attacked has been renewed to be more appropriate for the weapon or attack method. Okay. Hmm. Because of the age, I think for the new, for the new coming, coming monsters, they will review their attack because they are uh, will be dealing with health issues so I think the attack power must be lower or even higher I don't think for now but let's hope that it it will be a good uh, balance patch coming 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 near so 
QOL update. So this is the power power up master, I think. So they added a button here, so you won't scroll up just to look for the storage. So you will just use this one. Okay, that's good. So a quest menu allows a menu that has been added to allow summoners who haven't cleared the scenario to clear check the scenarios and clear rewards. Okay, so you have a icon on the top right of the battle map screen. So that's a good. So this next one, an exit button has been added to allow summoners to select a monster later when the blessing is applied to the summon. Summoners can continue with the selection by entering the summon hinge again. So with this, I think you will not restart your phone or your PC when you receive a juke when using your blessing. So select later. It solves the problem of restarting your P your Android phone or your PC when you you did get a dupe, and if you're not sure if you have a dupe, right? So that's a good thing. Summoners can now change their sa summoner's name. Oh, all right, that's good. Once per account, this feature will be available for the new accounts created after the 6.2.2 update. The first name changing will be free, shop normal, special nickname. So for those new players, easy change, easy name change. So the siege battle season. Okay, and we're not we're not eligible for this, but these auras I think they are new. Yeah, they are new. Um, that's a if you receive 500 gems today after the patch then i think the bug fixes will will reason out that compensation 500 crystals because they fix an issue in the tournament menu icon repeat icon battle icon overlap fix an issue game shutting down while watching tournament battles of the guild under certain situ situations Fix an issue where users couldn't enter the siege battle through Elias menu. Okay. Fix an issue on additional damage. So there are a lot of bug fixes during the but the siege battle, but we're not <laughs> we're not eligible for that. Android would like to explain the notification pop up regarding phone access permission like exposing after the game is updated one. This is the about optional access permission and it's function accepting declining does not affect gameplay you can also change the permission anytime up menu so the bug fixes are all from the ongoing or the previously uh, concluded siege tournament yeah but now that we know uh, which masters to get in our SP Summon, then I'm excited to have them. Even, I think I, I will only get the water. <laughs> I wish I could get this Dark Omnush, Onimusha and the water or light. The light on Neoji. And that's it, guys. Uh, if this video helps you or entertain you or gives you information that improve your gameplay or maybe just just inform you how how the this new monsters work please do like share and subscribe subscribe <coughs> subscribe in my channel for future uh, videos like this and see ya peace